Good morning children. This is your science period and I hope you all have given your exams well and you will all get good marks. So children, now we are going to start up with a new chapter that is weather, climate and adaptation of animals to the climate. This is your chapter number 7 and today is the first part of the same chapter. Children, do you remember the things that your parents ask you to pack whenever you are moving to a hill station? They often ask you to carry some woolen clothes because of the weather in that particular place, because it is at a height. You heard your parents before the family discussion, before the family function, that they may be discussing about the weather whether it will rain or not, whether the, temp, whether the weather will be uh, cold or it will be hot. So all these things they just discuss before they are talking of any of a family function. Even your parents, they insist you to carry your umbrellas whenever they see that the sky is cloudy, especially during the rainy season. So the weather may have a profound effect on the game. It has profound on our lives also. The cricket match that you all see is affected by the weather of that particular place. So it affects our life also and here you might have seen the pictures that are related with some of the weather forecasts that is your hot where in for rainy season they use the droplets either the umbrella then for warm they use the sun, okay, for a very chilly cold they use the icy, so ice. So in this way they show different pictures for the different types of the weather when they want to show. Many of our daily activities, they are also planned based on the weather predicted for that particular day. So there are daily reports of the weather on the television on the radio and even in the newspaper that we go through early in the morning. So this is how you might have seen the weather report that comes up to us in the newspaper. There is a meteorological department. So children, there is a meteorological department which looks after the weather of that particular place. So the weather predictions are made by the meteorological department. The scientists who make these predictions are called the meteorologist. The study, the, the parameters and the several other factors which affect the weather every day and are able to predict the weather conditions of a place over a very short period of time. But due to the parameters, there may be some changes in the weather so there are reasons that sometimes the predictions may go wrong but most often the predictions are often correct that are made by these meteorologists so this is how you can see on your televisions the weather report is shown here again you can see the forecast of the weather of five days so here you can see the maximum and the minimum temperature of a particular place. Here again you can see the weather report with the help of the symbols, with the help of the uh, sign that they use for showing their weather report or for giving their weather report. So what really is a weather? So we will study about this weather and climate and we will also see how the different forms of life are adapted to the climate of that particular habitat. So, we are going to start up with the topic, the weather. We find that the daily weather report which is carries the information about the temperature, the humidity, the rainfall and about the wind during the past 24 hours. It also predicts the weather for that particular day. So for this we will be performing one activity. 
So for this, what you have to do is you will cut out the weather report of the last week from any newspaper. If you do not get a newspaper at home, you can borrow borrow it from your neighbors or your friends, or even you may copy down the report in your notebooks. Now you can also collect the weather report from a library and paste it. So all these cutouts, you have to cut it and paste it on a white sheet or even on a chart paper as you wish or as the things are available to you. Now we will record the information for the weather report that we have to collect in the table that is given in your test book as table 7.1. So here you can see within that this table we have the date, we have the minimum temperature, the maximum temperature, minimum humidity, maximum humidity and the rainfall. So these are the columns which you have to make. If you just cannot get the original this thing then you can just make this type of chart in your this type of table in your white sheet and then you can note down the weather of the last seven days. The flow is just a sample which is filled up with the columns according to the data in the chart that you have to prepare. Do all the seven days and have the same maximum and minimum temperatures, humidity and the rainfall. So this is an activity which children all of you have to do and we will be looking for by the end of the chapter. Now what is the weather? So the day-to-day -day conditions of the atmosphere of a place with respect to the temperature, humidity, rainfall, the wind speed is called the weather of that particular place. So when we talk of weather, it not only depends on one thing but different elements are there on which it depends on. So the temperature, humidity, wind, are the factors which are called the elements of the weather. The weather is such a complex phenomenon that it can vary over a very short period of time. So children, it is not that whatever we say that weather and climate both are the different things. So just now we will talk about only weather. But here I am showing you in the table both the differences between your weather and climate but just now we will talk about weather. So weather is the daily condition. It includes the temperature as well as the rainfall. It can change very rapidly from day to day and from year to year. It is not that always the weather of a place will be the same. It can change. Today it may be hot, tomorrow it may be cold. Today it may be rainy, tomorrow it may be sunny. So the changes involves the shifts in the temperature, their precipitation, wind and the cloud. So here all these factors are also changing along with the weather. So here you might have seen this is again I am showing you on the screen how the weather is, uh, is given on your newspaper, in your televisions, everywhere you will find it in the same way. So the first one is your maximum temperature and this is always taken in degrees Celsius. Then we have the minimum temperature, then we have the maximum humidity, then we have the minimum humidity and then we say that how much clear the cloud is. So mainly clear the sky, then maximum and minimum temperature on the next. That means we predict it. We are getting the temperature of the previous day. On the basis of that, we predict for the next day. That means here we I am talking about the meteorological department, either the meteorologist. So now look at the graph which is given below, which shows that the maximum temperature which is recorded during 3rd August in 2006 to the 9th August 2006 at Shillong and Meghalaya. So this you can see how the weather uh, is changing, how the maximum and minimum temperature change and how the graph is going up and down. So this is of a particular place and this is how we can make the graph of our Mumbai also. So you have already studied in chapter 4 that there are special thermometers for the purpose 
okay and among them few of the thermometers were your maximum and minimum thermometer so the maximum temperature which occurs generally in the afternoon when it is very hot and the minimum temperature is recorded in the early morning when it is cold so these are basically the two times when we record the temperature of a particular place when we talk about the maximum and minimum temperature so you can see on the screen this is your maximum and minimum thermometer so it is your maximum and minimum thermometer with the help of which we take the temperature of a particular place so the temperature is measured as your maximum and minimum temperature as you know mornings which are generally very cool but the day as it proceeds it becomes hot okay because of the heat of the sun so its hotness is by the noon so and as the sun sets in the evening it again starts becoming cooler so the temperature in the minimum in the morning and it is maximum in the afternoon so and it is measured by a special thermometer which is called as the maximum and minimum thermometer now here you can again see how the temperature of a place is taken with the help of it so again here you can see how the maximum temperature as i said it is taken in the afternoon the minimum is taken in the morning so here you can see the difference in the temperature the same way there is minimum and maximum humidity also so for humidity means the air has the capacity to hold a certain amount of water within it and which increases with the increase in the temperature so this amount of water vapor which is present within our air is said to be your humidity this you have also studied before in your science as well as in your geography also so the humidity of a place is determined by the term its relative humidity so here we have the humidity of a place so here again we take the minimum uh, humidity and the maximum after that we have the rainfall and rainfall is measured with an instrument called your rain gauge that also you have studied so the chances of the rainfall in a region can be predicted by the relative humidity of that place when the air gets saturated with the water vapor and the temperature it falls down and it will rain and the amount of the rain can be measured here with the help of this instrument which is called your rain gauge so here again you can see in the table the maximum temperature along with the date this all is given in your test book so i have mentioned the same temperature but here we will be taking as i said for the last 7 days so then we will have the new temperature record of your maximum and minimum of this particular week i hope so today children we talked about only weather we talked about the elements of the weather we talked about the term, the thermometer that is used to take the temperature that is your maximum and minimum temperature of that particular place we talked about the relative humidity of a place and we talked about the instrument also that is said to be your rain gauge which is used to uh, to uh, calculate the rainfall in that particular place so thank you sairam but before that your home assignment what is weather and who prepares the weather report two very short questions so this you will be preparing yourself and tomorrow children we will have a live session of the same topic that is your weather but we will proceed further with the topic that is your next topic is your climate so we'll see how a climate of a place is different from that of a weather hope so till here it is clear whatever doubts are still there we can just discuss them tomorrow bye bye sairam